If I was starting from scratch in 2024 and wanted to give myself the best chance of going full time by 2025, here's what I would focus on. However much content you are making right now, triple it. And before we get to the points of how this affects the algorithm, getting new subscribers, making money, I want to stress this one really important point. People so often ask me how I create content like this, what cameras I'm using, the settings, lights, how I script them, what microphones, the list goes on and on. And the answer that I give is usually one that they don't really like. And that's because my answer is the reason I am able to create videos like this is because I have been doing it for almost a decade. And half of that decade was spent talking to camera and practicing practicing exactly this. So forget about how I'm doing this, what gear I might be using, because if there's one way that you can fast track your success, it's to focus on how many videos you can publish this year. Now I know creating content takes time and time is limited for all of us. I presume you are in school or have a job or busy with something in your life. But lucky for you, one of the skills that I have learned is how to become a content creator, conveyor belt, and use these cheats to pump out content in the most effective way. And I want to show you how to do that. Before I share the actual technique I've developed to do this, I want to just tell you about some of the benefits of actually making this much content. First is you can't score if you don't shoot, as cheesy as that sounds, but let me explain. Creating videos isn't all about getting views, but you do need to get your videos seen to be able to build an audience. And the algorithm is kind of like a lucky draw. You can put all your effort into your video, but it's also somewhat of a numbers game. The more high quality videos that you can manage to put out, the more chance you have of one of them being picked up. If you don't throw the ball at the hoop, you definitely won't score. And if you suck at basketball, chances are if you throw that ball enough times, eventually it's gonna go in. A byproduct of this is that you actually get better at throwing that ball into the hoop. And as time goes on, you start to score more and more often. With this being said, a lot of our success is gonna boil down to being consistent and consistently getting out a high volume of content. But how do we do this? Believe me when I say I have been the creator that comes a new week, I scramble to come up with an idea, I go film it, I rush to edit that video, I upload it, and just before it needs to go public, I kind of throw together a thumbnail and title, hit publish, and ah, okay, start that process again. New idea, let me come up with something, time's running out, and endlessly in this kind of cycle of doing it that way, and it's not the way to do it. The game-changing recipe that I have found that works is batch creating or creating for an entire month instead of creating one thing at a time and then repeating that process. Say for example, I wanna create eight videos every single month. That means two videos a week. I can break down however I wanna do this on my channel, figure out what your value points are for the channel that you have in particular, what different categories of videos you might have. If you have something like four different categories, you can put two videos in each one of those categories and then you know that is your content for that entire month. For me, it might be something like gear videos, one category, my next category might be something like editing tutorials, my next category might be something like filmmaking tips, and my fourth might be out in the field demonstrations showing you guys how I actually create content. I can easily separate these and I know I need eight videos for the month and that's gonna be two per week. I can put two videos in each one of these categories and then I know that's the content that I need for the month. How I like to start this is by doing one day of brainstorming and ideas. So as I start to get in that creative flow of thinking of ideas and I'm in that right headspace, I can rather pump out all eight of those videos in one day rather than spending a bunch of time kind of getting my head in the right space and then figuring out an idea, writing that one idea and then moving on to do something else. 
I can batch create all of this content and focusing on just ideas for that one day is so much more beneficial for you to just get that flow going. Next up, it's gonna be into our titles and thumbnails. And yes, that step happens very early on before you even start creating those videos. Because if you can first spend the time creating those titles and thumbnails, at least the ideas for the thumbnails, if you haven't captured them yet, you are giving yourself a direct channel where each one of those videos needs to stay. And you can focus on that value in that video, knowing where they're gonna go, rather than kind of just scrambling and putting a thumbnail and title together for something that fits the idea that you have already created. So that's gonna be my next step, is brainstorming all of those thumbnails and titles, coming up with things that are really nice and fitting, giving our videos the best chance of getting views. Next up, I'm gonna start writing my videos. And like with all of the other steps, now I can focus on getting into this correct headspace and getting that creative writing flow and really start get those creative juices flowing so I can write out my videos really nicely. And just as I've done my first video, I'm like already in that zone and I can pump out the rest of them relatively quickly as opposed to spending all my time getting into that zone, writing one and then moving on again like the other things. So I'll spend one day, one sitting, I'll try and pump out as many different scripts for videos as I can, hopefully getting like four or all eight of those scripts done in one go. Maybe breaking it up into little sections, but at least just pushing for doing them all in one like kind of segment instead of doing other things in between them. Then we're gonna have our filming day. And again, instead of setting up the entire studio, getting your lights going, getting in the mood to talk to camera and then just filming one video, we're gonna do a batch shoot as well. So we're gonna set all of this up and then we're gonna pump out as many videos as you can in one day so that you can have a batch of them. It's hard in the beginning and it's, takes a lot of like mental power to be able to present all of your ideas accurately and stay on script and get them done in the way that you want. But as time goes on, you get better at doing this whole batch thing. And sometimes I can pump out a whole bunch of them in a row. Little secret, this is my third video I'm filming in a row right now. Then next I'm gonna shoot all of the B-roll that I might need for the videos that I've just shot. So if I didn't do it in my scripting phase, I kinda just bullet point, have a rough idea of the B-roll that I'm gonna need to get my ideas across, and then I can shoot all of that B-roll. Sometimes this becomes tricky because I don't only shoot studio content and a lot of the time I'll shoot things out in the real world and it becomes a lot more difficult to batch shoot all of the stuff in the real world, but you can still kind of apply the same thing and especially if it's B-roll that you want to get out in the real world, you don't have to drive to some crazy location and then just shoot B-roll for that one video that you're making this week and then use it. You can have all of your batch studio videos shot, but then the B-roll that you need, you can drive out to some crazy location and shoot B-roll for like three of your videos in one go and then do another three the next day or something like that. But it's about bashing everything together as much as you possibly can to just streamline and simplify that whole creative process. Next up, we have our editing day. And I really like to focus on the batching here and I will literally take all of the videos that I've filmed, put it in one single timeline and go through all of them in a methodical process to get through them all. It makes it so much easier because now, while I have all of these videos on one timeline, I can copy all of the effects I have from one to the next. Maybe it's the same color grade because it's all been shot at the same time, in the same place, with the same lighting. The same audio effects can be applied to all of the audio across that whole timeline. Instead of kind of putting in one video project into the timeline and then editing everything, creating all of the assets and then shooting and then you're going and you're gonna do that again for the next project. I'm just pumping it out like a conveyor belt. So all of those effects, straight copy them over onto the next video, cut it up, make it fit obviously, and then boom, next one and I can edit significantly faster this way. I still struggle to lock myself into editing for too long and I'll try and get through as much of, a, of it as I can and I'll get up and take little breaks and come back to it but I'm still going to be focusing on that for those next days and seeing how quickly I can edit all eight of those videos instead of like just a little bit at a time and then going to do something else. Last step in the process is uploading all of these videos so I'll upload them all 
I can add in all those thumbnails and titles that I have created. I can go through all of the descriptions and the tags, creating all of the different little aspects that I need for my uploads. And then I can schedule them for the days that they need to be uploaded for the month coming up before the month has even started. This frees up all of my time because once I've done this now, I have the next month's worth of content and I can work on all the other aspects that it takes to be a content creator because there's actually quite a lot. And in my opinion, creating the content is a tiny fraction of all of the different tasks that you actually need to do as a content creator. So getting all of that stuff done right in the beginning of the month finished, you can focus on all of that other stuff and you can begin that whole process again to get that next months of content, but it just frees you up all of that time. And that's gonna allow you to create significantly more content. I could also spend a day cutting short form content from any of the B-roll that I had or anything else like that. If you have some different steps in your creative process, you can also do them as long as you're just doing them in batches like that. I find that is the biggest, biggest game changer of a secret to help you get more content out. I hope this helps. I really hope you guys can grasp the importance of the amount of content that you guys can pump out in the next year because that is going to fast track your way to getting the skills that you need to actually make it as a full-time content creator. So I hope this was useful and I hope I see some of you guys making it full-time this year. That would be so cool. Other than that, have fun. Bye.